Hello viewers, I am Aitli. Today we are going to see 11 CBSC Maths Straight Lines Exercise 10.1 Question number 3. Let's see the question. Find the distance between P x1, y1 and q x2, y2 when P q is parallel to y axis. The second part P q is parallel to x axis. So they asked us to find the distance between P and Q in the two condition that P Q is parallel to x axis and y axis. Now before going to the sum you need to understand something. The first diagram is parallel to y axis. If it is parallel to y axis it will be like this. Now this is the line parallel to y axis and what will be the line what will be the coordinates of the point here if I take this to be 2 here 1 2 here minus 1 minus 2 to plot this point to connect this line the what will be the plotting it will be 2 comma 1 then here it will be 2 comma 2 here 2 comma minus 1 because first x axis then the y axis here 2 comma minus 2. Now if you analyze this line, analyze the points, you can see here the all the x values are same. There is only difference in the y value and all your x values are same. This does not include with the sign. I am just teaching you that in a parallel, in a parallel of a y axis, the value of x are equal. So according to this, we can directly say that in y axis in in y axis uh, line parallel to y axis parallel to y axis we can say that x1 is equal to x2 because here there are x1 and x2 we know that parallel to y axis all the x values will be equal the same way for uh, a line parallel to x axis all the y values will be equal so remember this point now we know that x1 is equal to x2 for distance PQ distance we know the distance formula is x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square just substitute the value we know that these two are equal you can directly say this to be equal to 0 because if I take this to be x2 then it becomes x2 minus x2 will become 0 so I can directly go with this thing that y square minus y sorry y1 y2 minus y1 the whole square your square and root get cancelled it becomes mod y2 minus y1 y mod whatever the value is we need to write it in positive because we are writing the distance the distance will always be positive so mod will tell you that it is a positive value this is your final answer when the in the first subdivision that it is parallel to y axis now for the second subdivision a line parallel to x axis in this case we can say that y1 equal to y2 y1 will be equal to y2 so pq will be equal to you know the formula it is x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square we know that these two are equal so this becomes 0 so we can directly say this is x2 minus x1 the whole square root root and square get cancelled now this you can write it in mod x2 minus x1 mod so distance of pq when it is parallel to x axis is x2 minus x1 that's all with the sum thank you